Okay, in our YZ250 build, having a properly clean and tuned carburetor is very important. These stock Keyans are very good on the YZ250. Brad's gonna show us how he cleans this. This has already been vapor blasted, sonic cleaned. It's been all cleaned and it looks amazing as you can see. Uh, Brad's gonna rebuild it, put in the proper jetting, and uh, give you some tips on it right now. This carburetor vapor blasted, so we're gonna take it apart now and give it a good cleaning and put it back together. So on carburetors, make sure you you know take cleaner and blow through these holes really good. Make sure nothing's in there, in the air screw, pilot jet, main jet, and then take your air, blow through them. Whoa. Try not. Okay, on this bike. We're going to do jetting and what a good, a good spot to start your jetting at for, you know, any bike is go to Pro Circuit and they have a jet spec on there and that gives you a really good start point. Um, what I do is write them down on what they call for. Second clip. And that gives you a really close. But again, when you're doing this, it depends on your sea level and all that stuff and where you're at. Uh, we're setting this up for zero to like 2,500. Did you see that? Did you see that email from the George guy? You mean this one? No, I sent it like a few ago. Oh yeah. All right, so stock jetting on this bike is a 172 main and a 50 pilot. Um, so we're going to drop it, raise the main one size and lower the pilot two sizes and pretty much everything else is the same as stock.
So we're going to replace the needle valve for the float. Um, that's what usually causes these old carburetors to leak. Always put the new one, which comes with the kit. So everybody's different on the way they set the float heights. They all like to measure them and all that stuff. I've been doing it a while, so I just blow in it and then I can tell exactly where to set it and that's how I've done it forever and works good. There's a little tab inside here you can adjust up or down whether it's you know the opposite way if the floats are too far up before it seats or too low before it seats. Um, you want the floats pretty much level and that's the best point that I've had for because you want floats as high as possible to keep as much gas in there before it leaks. Um, some people set them too low and a lot of air in that pocket and when you're hitting bumps you know you get you suck air from the bottom and it causes a lot of problems. Perfect. Comes with a new O ring for the base, put that on, for the float bowl nut, so that's the one I ordered. clip is on number two, going back in. you're putting your choke back on always clean the brass make sure it's nice and clean and put a little bit of grease on it just a tad bit because water you don't want anything when you pressure wash or any crud get in there that way it stays nice for the duration Choke working really good. Carburetor's done. Now we're just going to add some hoses. So on this field, we're going to run the factory Honda pink hoses. Um, this stuff works really good. I like this better than any colored hoses. Um, this is the Honda part number. Oh, boom. Buzz over at ECC if you're watching. Order me some up. And I always cut them a teeny bit long, that way we can trim them to what we like on the bike and they're not too short, so I always do them a tad bit long. Flush cut for zip ties. 
That way there's no, you cannot get scratched. If you try cutting zip ties with regular dykes, you know you'll get scratched over and over again. Right, Jay? Yes, terrible. So, flush cuts is the best way to go. I mean, look at that. Wow. Hey, Jay with Dirt Bike TV. Check out the Discover Trails feature on the Onyx Off-Road app. We're in the Temple Mountain Green River, Utah area. This is one of the first times we've ridden out here. Onyx has a button right here you can press and then see the popular trails in the area you're riding in. This feature still works while offline if you've downloaded the area beforehand and it helps a lot in riding areas you're unfamiliar with. Remember to download the Onyx Off-Road app today and get a seven day free trial period. And to save 20%, use the discount code DBTV1.